Hi, this is Brian Fogarty, and this is a video for Chapter 14 of the book Quantitative Social Science Data with R, 2nd edition. So in this video, what we're going to do is plot the negative binomial regression coefficients. Um, let's just remind us what they look like real quickly. I'm going to do summary model.mvrm. Okay, so uh, tweet down woman leader, sorry, woman lead author and full professor. And we saw that only tweet down in the negative binomial was statistically significant. Okay, so this is, um, we're going to, we're going to use the GG coef model function, which we have before. Uh, I just wanted to, to show it in a quick video. Um, you know, as practice, <laughs> we're doing different models here. So we're going to load the package gg galley, gg alley, ally, gg alley, ally. Anyway, we're going to go gg coef underscore model. All right. And then we put in our model name, model dot nbrm. Okay, and then we're going to add, uh, we're going to name the variables. So we're going to add these variable labels. Include the concatenate, the C function. So we're going to do tweet dumb equals quote tweeted article. Oh, comma woman lead author. We're just going to repeat that, but make it separate words here. Woman lead author, and then comma, and then full prof, just one F, do that. And that is full professor. Okay, we're going to bring up here these close parentheses. We're going to do comma. Go down the next line. Okay, so previously, um, when we used this, we included this no reference row. And um, so this, this option does not plot the other value of a dummy variable. So we just want the higher value, which is what the coefficient is based on, not, not what it's compared to. So we have no reference row. All right, and then what we can do is use kind of a, I don't know, call it a trick, but we can uh, use a shortcut, if you will, um, to just specify, to just say that all of these are um, dichotomous or dummy variables. So we're going to use this package called broom.helpers, all right, and then we're going to do colon colon. This is an alternative way to bring in a package or a function to use a function without specifically loading that package. All right. So, I mean, what we could do is do library broom helpers earlier on. This time we, we just include it like this. So we include the package name and then double colon and then the function we want. So, so I, you know, for this book, I didn't do that because I felt like it can get confusing. Um, but if you, you know, when you're learning R and you're looking at, um, you know, Stack Overflow or different websites, you might see uh, a, bu a bunch of this usage where people don't load the package, but they call it like this so they can use a specific function. All right, so we have broom.helpers, colon, colon, all dichotomous. So that's saying like they're all dummy variables. So for all the variables, do not print the uh, reference row. Comma, show underscore p values equals false. Comma, signif stars equals false. All right, and then we are going to bring this parenthesis up. And then I'm gonna do plus, and then we'll just add a couple labels here. So labs, and again, right, the, <clears throat> the labs here, this is coming from ggplot. So we have title, 
equals predicting article citations. And then we will include an X label here. Um, negative binomial regression coefficients. All right, I think that is all good to go. Let's highlight it and run it. Okay, so I'm gonna click zoom and then uh, I'm gonna drag it to make it a little bigger. Okay, so in this um, plot here, right, it's, it's the same idea as we've seen before. Um, the dots are the regression coefficient, right? So they're like the point estimates, and then the lines are the confidence intervals around it. So we're looking to see um, whether or not the confidence interval crosses zero. Uh, if it does, then it's not sign statistically significant. Um, if it does not, then it is. So as we saw before, um, tweet dumb or tweeted article was the only significant one. So we see it doesn't cross, but then these, both of these do uh, cross the zero. And we saw before that those were not statistically significant. Um, we also have this legend down here that tells us that if it's a filled in circle, then it's uh, less than or equal to 0 0.05. If it's a, a circle with a hole in the middle, a donut, whatever you want to call it, um, then that means that it's greater than 0 0.05. Okay, um, that's it for this video. Just wanted to show plotting uh, count model regression coefficients. All right, so thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.